AstraZeneca has now admitted to a rare side effect of the vaccine that could potentially be fatal. Should those of us, very simply put, those of us who've taken this vaccine two years ago, should we be worried? The simple answer to your question is no. There is no need for those who've taken the vaccine in the past to be worried. This particular side effect of the AstraZeneca vaccine or the Chadox vaccine um, has been known since March of 2021, very soon after the vaccine was deployed in large numbers across the world. And um, there have been periodic updates on this complication. It's a very rare complication. And it usually occurs in the first three to four weeks after vaccination, not afterwards. So right now for people who've taken their vaccines, like maybe one, two, three years ago, there's absolutely no need to worry. In 2021, many EU countries had suspended the use of AstraZeneca's vaccine due to the same kind of a concern. The WHO at that time had also said that the benefits do outweigh the risks. Do you still believe that? So, um, in 2021, soon after the vaccine was deployed, within three months, you know, there were reports of uh, what is called TTS, that is uh, thrombocytopenia, uh, low platelet count with thrombosis. And uh, it usually presented with uh, either a clot in the brain or a clot in the abdomen. So, severe headache as a symptom or severe abdominal pain. It was observed in about... 1 in 250,000 people or 4 in a million people who received the vaccine, first dose of the vaccine in the UK. From some EU countries, it was being reported at 1 in 100,000. And it seemed to be more common in younger people rather than in people over the age of 40. Now, based on this information, uh, again, there were a few European countries that decided that they would rather use mRNA vaccines because they had access to a variety of vaccines. So they stopped using this AstraZeneca, they switched to mRNA. But in many other parts of the world, the regulatory agencies continued to use AstraZeneca and WHO continued to uh, say that the benefit risk profile was still very favorable. There, were, there was information put out for how to recognize these symptoms. So doctors were being informed about these symptoms, though very rare. In case anybody had any of these symptoms after vaccination, they were being told what investigations to do and what treatment to give and what not to give so that people you know, could be uh, saved. Now, I should also add here that COVID-19 infection itself also increases the risk of thromboembolism. And in fact, the risk of getting these thrombotic uh, episodes or coagulation disorders or blood clots in common language is much, much higher after a natural COVID infection, especially if you've had severe COVID, than it is after a vaccine. So a lot of people get fixated on the side effects of the vaccine when actually it is a COVID infection that has increased the risk for heart attacks, for stroke, you know, for uh, diabetes and a lot of other health outcomes. The final question here now is, can this vaccine still be given? to people if the need arises or given what AstraZeneca has admitted in court, does this vaccine need to be pulled off? I think we have to, uh, we have to uh, separate these two issues. The lawsuit is, is about certain individuals, as I said, very unfortunate that they actually had this side effect. And it's, a, it's a small group of individuals who filed a law lawsuit claiming compensation because they had very severe disease disability because of uh, they claim is because of the vaccine. Of course, that has to be uh, proven. In fact, if they did suffer from the effects, adverse effects of the vaccine, then they're probably entitled to some uh, compensation that the courts will decide. In fact, the WHO, when we set up COVAX to provide vaccines to the developing world, we had actually taken out a global no-fault compensation insurance policy so that any individual who suffered from serious adverse effect, uh, effects of the vaccine, any of the vaccines that were being supplied through COVAX would be given compensation. So the information is not new. As I said, we've known since March of 2021 about this uh, side effect. Nothing has changed in terms of the benefit risk profile of the vaccine. Of course, uh, there are not too many vaccination campaigns going on right now in the world, but I don't think, uh, and WHO has not indicated that there is any reason for uh, a withdrawal or a change in the recommendation of this vaccine.